Hello and welcome to another Cheeky Scientist blog highlight video. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist and today's blog is on five factors that will make your resume for this year uh, perfect. It'll help your resume get in the hands of hiring managers and recruiters and then make it to that next stage where you're getting a callback and going on to a site visit. So what are those five factors? Number one, the 80-20-10 principle. What does that mean? It means that 80% of the job market is hidden and only 20% of those available jobs are posted online. So 20% of jobs are posted online only. And of those 20%, half of them are already filled internally. So only 10% of the jobs that are out there are actually posted online and actually available. Uh, a lot of large companies, certainly publicly traded companies, they have requirements from the government where they have to show, uh, they have to display jobs online for a certain amount of time, even if they've already filled them internally. What does this mean? It means you can't rely on just uploading your resume to job sites. Um, this is why I'm, I, I'm guessing if you're watching this, you've uploaded your resume, you've not heard anything back, or you've just gotten an automated response back. Okay, so you can't rely just on uploading your resumes. Number two, recruiters and hiring managers, they stop looking at the resumes that come in after only 10 to 25% have been read. Okay, what, and this is a big deal because for large companies like Pfizer or Intel, they can receive up to 2,000 resumes per open position. And so after the first couple hundred are read, the employers stop reading anymore. And so if you don't get your resume in quickly, uh, you're going to be in trouble. The good news is you can go to google.com backslash alerts or indeed, and, and you can set up alerts so that if a job posting or a new job is posted, you can be one of the first people to find out. And the blog article discusses how to do that specifically. Number three, the bullet points on your resume they really matter. You can't just use, you know, action words or power words and hope that your bullet point or your resume is going to really stand out. Instead, as a PhD, you have to focus on your transferable skills and your quantified results. You have to start every bullet point with a transferable skill and everyone with a quantify, uh, quantified result. The, the full blog article will show you how to do that. Uh, number four, realize that as a PhD, you're in a great position. Job postings overall, like all, of all types of jobs except for STEM jobs, they're flat. The increase in job growth that we've seen over the past year especially has been in the, the STEM sector, right? So STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. But really, according to the National Science Foundation, STEM is any uh, field that uses the scientific method. This includes life scientists, physical scientists, social scientists, engineers, mathematicians, people in education, teaching and learning, and so forth. So again, if you're, if you're watching this, very likely that includes you. And the good news is, according to a mass bio report, which is a, always includes a great sampling of PhDs, STEM jobs are up 5.6%. That is a huge increase. And then finally, uh, this article is going to show you how to structure your overall resume. It's going to show you why you need to put your professional summary, your three biggest career highlights, in the top one-third of the first page, because that's known as the visual center. And eye tracking studies show that employers spend 80% of their time when they're reviewing a resume in that top one-third. So make sure you read the full blog article. And until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.